I think winter has become my favorite season here. There's just something about how quiet it is. It kind of makes it feel like you earn it more. That's when you get those dramatic views, kind of just stop you in your tracks. Brings out all the colors and the gray pops, and it just, it's just, there's something about winter days here that I feel like are pretty unique. When I was 14, my dad took me to the local climbing gym. Um, this was in the mid 90s, and our tiny town just happened to have a climbing gym, and I mean, the rest is history. It was like I was hooked immediately. So I had no idea what the nose was, but every climbing gym that I walked into, there was like this poster of Lynn, you know, her on like the last pitch, and it said, it goes boys on it. That kind of just was seared into my memory, and I just thought like I wanted to be like her, and I wanted to do that. I didn't really know what that was, but I was like, I'm gonna free climb the nose one day. Yosemite Valley to climbing is, I feel like it's kind of like Mecca or the center of the universe. It's not a fluffy place to come. It's not a feel good, boost your ego. It's just like, you get a beating. I'm on El Cap for the first time in the season. I'm terrified and I like question why I'm doing this. I am 3,000 feet off of the ground and I have, you know, a few points of contact in. But then also I love it. You're climbing these formations that are beautiful and unique and then you get to have this vantage point of the valley that is really unique. I think it'd be really hard for me not to have some sort of connection to Yosemite and the climbing here and the granite here. It's just something that has shaped me as a climber and then therefore me as a human and a mom and a wife and a person. Yeah, if I could only climb one place for the rest of my life, it would be Yosemite.